Welcome back to our Level 3 Listening Comprehension Series. Today, we explore the fascinating world of urban agriculture and how cities are revolutionizing food production. This lesson will challenge you to think about how metropolitan areas can become more sustainable while ensuring food security. Let's listen to the story, and don't worry, because I will read it for you two times. In recent years, the sprawling metropolis of Greendale has transformed itself into a model of urban agriculture, turning unused spaces into thriving food production zones. This innovative approach has not only improved food security, but has also created a new green economy within the city limits. The transformation began with the city's groundbreaking Rooftop Revolution Initiative, which converted empty rooftops into productive gardens and greenhouses. Greendale's journey started when city planners identified that 30% of rooftop space was unused. Through partnerships with local businesses and community organizations, these spaces were converted into agricultural zones using hydroponic and vertical farming techniques. The program created hundreds of local jobs, from urban farmers to agricultural technologists, while significantly reducing the city's carbon footprint from food transportation. However, the transition faced several obstacles. Initial skepticism from property owners and concerns about structural integrity of buildings had to be addressed. Yet, through careful engineering studies and successful pilot programs, the city demonstrated both the safety and profitability of rooftop farming. Today, Greendale produces 40% of its fresh vegetables within city limits, and its model has been adopted by cities worldwide. In recent years, the sprawling metropolis of Greendale has transformed itself into a model of urban agriculture, turning unused spaces into thriving food production zones. This innovative approach has not only improved food security, but has also created a new green economy within the city limits. The transformation began with the city's groundbreaking Rooftop Revolution Initiative, which converted empty rooftops into productive gardens and greenhouses. Greendale's journey started when city planners identified that 30% of rooftop space was unused. Through partnerships with local businesses and community organizations, these spaces were converted into agricultural zones using hydroponic and vertical farming techniques. The program created hundreds of local jobs, from urban farmers to agricultural technologists, while significantly reducing the city's carbon footprint from food transportation. However, the transition faced several obstacles. Initial skepticism from property owners and concerns about structural integrity of buildings had to be addressed. Yet, through careful engineering studies and successful pilot programs, the city demonstrated both the safety and profitability of rooftop farming. Today, Greendale produces 40% of its fresh vegetables within city limits, and its model has been adopted by cities worldwide. Now let's practice with four questions about our story. Question number one. What type of spaces did Greendale primarily use for urban agriculture? A. Underground tunnels and basements. B. Empty rooftops and unused buildings. C. Public parks and playgrounds. D. Shopping mall interiors. Question number two. What farming techniques were implemented in Greendale's program? A. Traditional soil farming and pesticide use. B. Hydroponic and vertical farming techniques. C. Livestock raising and dairy production. D. Organic soil farming only. Question number three. What was a major challenge Greendale faced in implementing urban agriculture? A. Lack of water resources. B. Property owner skepticism and structural concerns. C. Opposition from traditional farmers. D. Insufficient sunlight in the city. Question number four. 
What impact did the urban agriculture program have on Greendale? A. It increased the city's dependence on imported food. B. It led to higher unemployment rates. C. It produced 40% of the city's fresh vegetables. D. It caused significant pollution problems. Let's review the answers and delve deeper into Greendale's urban agriculture journey. Question number one. What type of spaces did Greendale primarily use for urban agriculture? B. The city utilized empty rooftops and unused buildings, converting them into productive agricultural spaces. Question number two. What farming techniques were implemented in Greendale's program? B. The program employed hydroponic and vertical farming techniques, maximizing space efficiency in the urban environment. Question number three. What was a major challenge Greendale faced in implementing urban agriculture? B. The main challenges included property owner skepticism and concerns about building structural integrity. Question number four. What impact did the urban agriculture program have on Greendale? C. The program successfully produced 40% of the city's fresh vegetables, reducing dependence on imported produce. Thank you for joining today's exploration of urban agriculture and its impact on city sustainability. Your engagement with these topics brings us closer to reimagining how our cities can feed themselves. Stay tuned for Lesson 5, where we'll tackle another critical global issue. Until then, keep listening, learning, and growing toward a more sustainable future. And remember that you are awesome.